Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the bushy brow or the natural brow. It also can be called the feathered brow. So this brow is seriously the best thing that's ever happened in my life. So I'm going to show you how to get this look. It is so popular right now. So I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. So as you see here, these are my natural brows. This is what I'm working with. Nothing like the intro. I do feel like I'm pretty fortunate though because I did fall into the no brow trends back in high school. So I'm pretty fortunate to have grown out my eyebrows as much as I have. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is just take a spoolie and this part, you just need to make sure that all the brows are kind of facing the same direction because you're gonna run some wax through them and the wax Wax is what's going to help the brows to stay in place. So uh, you've probably seen a lot of people replace this type of product with soap. So you can definitely do that. I've never tried that before. I still feel like it's a little weird. Not hating. If you guys want to try the soap method, definitely looks cool but i'm replacing the soap with wax if you don't have wax clear brow gel works anything that's meant to hold your brows in place what i've noticed is the wax really does the best for me so you want to apply a very generous amount of the wax i like to go back and forth and then take your spoolie make sure you comb it all the way through the brows you need this so the brows just stay straight up you want them to stick straight up I'm taking my Cabral from Benefit. So what I like is a sort of pomade type of product. The the dip brow from Anastasia works really good. I haven't tried it with anything else like powder or anything. I find that this is the best product to use because it's the most opaque and you can get much sharper lines. So that's kind of what you need. You need this to look like hair as much as possible. So I found that this is the best product for this. So for the brush, you just need a brush that is very, very thin and super, super sharp. But I'm only working with the very, very tip of my brush. And basically what I'm doing is just adding little strokes upwards, following the same natural direction of my brow growth. I like to start sort of towards the middle and kind of work my way in both directions. It's pretty self-explanatory. I guess you decide how bushy you actually want your brows to look. And I mean bushy in the least exaggerated way. They're not ugly bushy. They're just like, they have so much dimension going through them. They are not flat at all and they look like they're just full of hair. Here. I guess my biggest tip for this type of brow is never create any horizontal lines. You want everything to be pretty vertical and pretty like uh, sloped, like natural brow natural brow hairs would be I guess Create some short some long some sloping some going straight up that's what's going to give it the most natural effect lastly you want to take some sort of brow gel tinted brow gel would be a lot better and preferably something that's a little bit darker than the pomade that you use so it gives it even more dimension i'm just running this product through my brows still keeping in mind that i'm i want the very beginning of my brows to kind of point straight up and as you go back you want to start sloping the brows and after that that pretty much completes the entire brow it is a little bit more time consuming but the results as you can see look very very natural and I paired it with a very simple makeup look because even though the brows did take me a little bit longer to create, they are very natural. So I wanted the makeup to also just be soft around it and pretty natural around the eyes. And that is pretty much it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this bushy brow tutorial and hopefully you learned something new. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you guys are trying out this trend or if you're still on the Instagram or ombre trend, which, you know, is still amazing. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not and follow me. Love you.